Hello, welcome inside the Mind of Matt. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about and installing some diode smoothers. If you're interested in these, make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. Now for the sake of the experiment, I have to conclude this video because I spent all the time making it, but the results are not what I expected them to be. Stay tuned. So a diode smoother is a circuit board that basically is used to quiet the electrical noise that comes from the circuitry of the 3D printer. Some of the effects that those electrical interferences can cause is what they call salmon skin. Now in my previous video I did some testing on some filament and I did a couple of test prints and I'm going to get a close-up look at those test prints and show you what I'm talking about and then I'm going to install these on the ramps board that I've put in my CR10 and I'm going to print those exact same G code files that are still on the Raspberry Pi same filament so same conditions that's the the most control that I could do this experiment is a before and after print of the same exact thing so there's a couple of the models that you saw in my previous video that I'm going to basically print again but we're gonna see whether or not these have an effect on the outcome so let's uh, take a close look at the model and then we'll dive right in and change these or add these diodes actually to our circuitry so let's take a look at the models all right so here is the vase that I printed I'm hoping that my camera is going to pick it up There's a little bit of ripple effect. I'm hoping the camera can pick it up. You can definitely pick it on the rocket. Right there. Now, some might call it ghosting. Some might call it oh, salmon skin. But I'm going to see if that effect is going to be removed. Well, eventually, it only kind of shows it. Tell you what, let me get the magnifying glass out. Let's see if I can see it closer with that. Let's get a closer look.
All right, so let's get a close look at this diode. Now they do come in different shapes and sizes and varieties. I will leave a link in the description as to these particular ones that I bought that you can purchase if you'd like. Uh, but you, as you see, this is an A diode. They also make a four diode and different brands and stuff. Well, I'd like to talk about this connector here real quick. Now, if you get a close look at this connector, you'll see if it lines up right that the colors are the opposite. So this would actually not work and it would actually make my motors work in reverse. So you can actually push on those little metal parts and eject those pins and then reconfigure it. But I have a DuPont tool and a bunch of DuPont tips and connectors so I'm going to snip these off and put some DuPont connectors on it and that will plug into my ramp board a little bit. And then one will plug into that, the other end will plug into that, and then the stepper motor from there will go on there. I've got three, I'm going to go with the X, Y, and the Z, and then we'll test. Then I'll print something that test objects again and we'll make a comparison. So let's get these installed and we'll go from there. your connector on or if you're just going to reinsert these what you want to make sure is that the connections are exactly the same so if you've got these two parts out then it's going to be you know it's going to match up black green blue red from left to right with me I just want to make sure that they're in order because I can put my connector on either way with this new DuPont. Okay, I got my DuPont connectors on and once again, it's going to want to look like that so it's straight, not, not crossed. So just make sure that you plug in the right thing to the right thing and you'll be alright. Pay close attention. Let's get a closer look inside and I'm going to hook these up. And this is going to give me a perfect opportunity to do a little bit of wire management while I'm in here. I've got my new mount installed and it will get mounted down into the bottom. Already got a couple things disconnected but just want to make sure that you know I see the orientation of all my plugs. You can see them. I'm going to be doing the X, Y, and Z.
Okay, so they're all hooked up. Now they do have exposed little leads on the bottom, so I am going to be careful as to not let them touch anything metal. And I eventually will either make a mount for them or uh, do some kind of uh, shrink wrap. But for now, I might just throw some tape on them real quick. Alright, so I threw a little tape on them. That should protect them temporarily. So let's fire this puppy up and see if we're gonna see any results. I'm gonna load up the roll of, the roll of uh, AIO Robotics Green PLA and we're gonna print the rocket. We're gonna print, I don't know, that Marlin came out pretty good, but we'll print a Marlin. I'm going to print this vase, and I'm going to print a benchy. Ready, set, go. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that everything moves in the right direction. Alright, so everything's moving in the right direction. I did have to swap everything. I had everything in backwards, which it was quick and easy so make sure you pay attention and check that before you even try to start printing so we're going to warm it up load it up and start printing before not printing this 32 hours. No, no, no.
All right, so everything is done printing for the second time. And if you've been watching up to this point, I'm hoping that you don't get really upset with the end results because I actually have to be completely honest. I can spend time, this is the after, this is the befores. This is all the befores and this is all the afters. And I installed them and I gotta be honest that I honestly do not see any type of noticeable difference. So, I'm either doing something wrong, installed them wrong, they've gotta be working because everything is moving. They're not meant for the application that I'm trying to use them for, or it's just a big hoax, I guess, would be the only word I can think of. But, leave a comment down in the comment section if you have anything to say about these. Uh, there's no use in leaving a link for them in the description, because I don't recommend to install them. I am going to further investigate them. I will be installing them probably on the Delta and check out and see if I can get the same or get some different results. I'll try to run the same test and maybe I'll share the results with that. But anyways, if you don't like this video, I understand, but hit that like button for my efforts on the experiment. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out the rest of the links that I have left down in the description and keep on coming back because there'll be more inside the mind of bat. Thanks everybody. Happy printing and be safe pouring.